by looking at um, each individual household with, who has purchased a vehicle, which resides in our North American vehicle database, we're able to enhance the story of what a dealership might understand beyond typical registration data with what can we learn by um, comparing these three databases about the reason that they purchased. And so the types of life events that we see that might put people in market for a vehicle are varied. It, it may be a change in the dynamic of their household where they're um, sort of adding either another child or they're a blended family for the first time. Uh, it may be that they're recently married. So new job, new promotion. So all types of demographic and psychographic um, intelligence and characteristics that come from our consumer view database can really broaden our understanding of why that consumer is in market. Then we also have the ability to track back um, new registrations as to whether or not that person might have had a vehicle incident on the record of their previous vehicle. So those types of um, sort of backward looking um, intelligence and, and data give us a real solid window into the future for our dealers. So between vehicle incidents and life events, we also have um, credit events, things that might put an individual household in a better position in terms of affordability. We know um, when they're coming to the end of their lease or, or when they're coming to the end of their loan or whether or not there's some sort of change within their affordability overall. They've closed a student loan, for instance, um, and recently, and that, that would indicate that they're moving a child off to college. So looking across the gamut of all of our characteristics, um, for then there are 2,500 plus of them across our in consumer view file, and applying that um, and the modeling necessary to tell the story gives us a real solid predictive uh, plan for each dealer in the 15 mile radius around their store.